Meet federal judge G. Murray Snow. Judge Snow will soon be famous for ruling against America's toughest sheriff, Sheriff Joe, for discriminating against Hispanics in Arizona. Now, Judge Snow is an unabashed, true-believing Mormon. He once gave a talk to the Federalist Society about Mormons being driven out of Jackson County, Missouri. That's important because, if you don't know, Jackson County is where Mormons say their Jesus will return and set up his kingdom on earth. While some in Arizona speculate that Mormon church policy might be influencing Judge Snow to favor Hispanics, I've read a few of Judge Snow's rulings against Sheriff Joe, and as far as I can tell, Judge Snow's Mormonism has nothing insidious to do with his ruling against the sheriff. That's not like Ninth Circuit Mormon Judge N. Randy Smith's minority vote in favor of Prop 8, where Judge Smith was simply carrying out his church's secret written policy. So, initially, it appears Judge Snow is squeaky clean. And the Mormon church likes to promote Mormons as being squeaky clean. To that end, the church promotes the cute saying, choose the right. But it's a funny thing about Mormons. They don't often choose the right when no one is watching. I thought you should know as you consider electing a Mormon for president. Now, you'd expect a Mormon federal judge would be squeaky clean and would be above all this. Well, let's see. Judge Snow had a potential conflict of interest in Sheriff Joe's case way back in 2010, and he knew it. It turns out that one of the partners in the law firm prosecuting the sheriff was married and is married to Judge Snow's sister. But Judge Snow didn't tell anyone about this potential conflict back then, even though that would have been the right thing to do. It wasn't until recently when he received some incriminating evidence that he decided to come clean. If this were the only time Judge Snow held back on choosing the right, he might be forgiven. But it's not. Fast forward to when Judge Snow was assigned Michael's Law, a case of first impression suing the justices of the Arizona Supreme Court for making up law. In that case, Judge Snow personally knew all the defendants, the justices of the Arizona Supreme Court, because Judge Snow used to work under them when he was a judge in the Arizona Court of Appeals. As such, Judge Snow was obligated by law to disqualify himself immediately in this case. But he didn't. Instead, he ran defense and obfuscated for his old buddies on the bench. As in Sheriff Joe's case, even though he knew the right beforehand, it wasn't until Judge Snow's conflict was documented in court papers that he finally chose the right in Michael's Law and stepped down. Funny thing about Mormons, Generally, they don't choose the right unless they know someone is watching. Remember this as you consider electing a Mormon for president. If Mormon federal judges won't choose the right, what makes you think a Mormon president will be any different?